taking a look at a couple breakouts that we are going to use. If the other team dumps the puck into our end, and this is the net we are defending. So the other team dumps the puck into our end. We're going back to get it. Right here we have our D going back to get the puck. You can see there that they're shoulder checking. They're looking up the ice to see where their options are. We have our other defense protecting the front of the net area. We have our winger who is an option on the boards for a pass. We have our center who is coming in and reading the play like this. And we have our other winger who is coming back to the wall over here in case the D comes up the strong side. Here the D wheels the net and looks for an option. And we can see here that there is an option to pass to this player. And there's also an option to pass to the center right here. Those are two very basic options to look for if you're a defense player coming around the net. If the puck does get passed up to the winger, now the center has an, uh, a support position for the winger to pass them the puck, as we can see right here, just like this. Same situation, the puck gets dumped in. D's got to go back to get the puck. Now this time, the other defense player who is in front of the net, they're realizing that there's not a lot of pressure from the other team. And so what they do is they go into the other corner over here and act as a support option. The wingers, their job doesn't change. We still want them to be in a support option on the wall. Center, their job doesn't change. We still want them to be supporting and following the puck like that. And this winger's job doesn't change. We want them coming to the wall and then supporting wherever that puck goes next. So here, you can see here that we use a good D to D. So this is our defenseman. This is the other defenseman going over here. They can pass the puck to each other. And now this defense player has an option to pass it to the center. They have an option to pass it, whoops, they have an option to pass it up to the winger right there. So they have two options. Choose the best one and we can get the puck out of our zone. Same thing, D's gotta go back and get the puck. They're going to retrieve the puck in the corner. And now they have done what we call net safety. So if you're standing here, you're safe behind the net. If there's a four checker coming down here, we want to force that four checker to come and chase you. And if the four checker chases you on one side of the net, you're going to skate around the other side of the net. If the four checker decides to come and chase you this way, well, you're going to come out on that side. So you have to be patient and using that net safety to your advantage. So here, when the defense gets net safety, we got to make sure that we're getting a winger on the boards. We have our other winger on the boards. We have our D in the corner who is ready to be an outlet pass. And right here, we also have our center supporting in this middle area of the ice. And we can see where everybody goes next. When the puck gets passed up, remember that our center is always acting as support wherever that puck is. And you can see how we get out of the zone there. Sometimes in the games, the defense is going to be under a lot of pressure. They're going to have somebody on their other team really coming in and trying to pressure. And sometimes the D either has to rim the puck around this way or rim the puck up the boards here, which is why it's important that we have our wingers getting to those options to support. So if that defense is under pressure, they have an opportunity to recover that puck. And we can see here with the centerman as well, coming in nice and low, supporting. And if that puck does come up this way to the winger over here, now they have a nice little outlet pass to give that center, as we can see right here. Remember that we always try and support wherever that puck is going. We wanna be a good option for our teammates. 